The Dragonfly, a small research unit of the Interplanetary Commonwealth with a crew of six, travels the distant regions of space. After visiting many worlds and exploring numerous planets, the research mission comes to an end. However, on the way home, there is one more task waiting for the crew. Despite the risk, astrogator Novik undertakes the extraction of a rare and extremely valuable mineral himself. Novik gets the mineral, but at the cost of a broken leg and immense pain. The astrogator's accident doesn't stop the crew from happily celebrating the end of the research cycle. It was a time of creating deep bonds and feeling unstoppable. Victorious, they set a course home and go for a well-deserved rest in the hibernation chambers. Hey everybody, my name is Wallens and welcome to The Invincible. Some of you might remember we checked out the demo a few months ago. This is based off the sci-fi novel of the same name, The Invincible, by Polish author Stanisław Lem. When we checked out the demo, there was a lot of weird stuff going on, so I'm quite curious to see where this will go in the full version. You don't have to check out the demo if you haven't seen it. We're starting from the beginning here. Where am I? Hey, this is Yasna. I was just with you. And now, I don't know where I am. Or how I got here. We went in the cryo chamber and we're here? I've got a splitting headache. Does anyone hear me? Base, do you copy? Are you there? Maybe we should at least get up first. Are you hurt? It's probably nothing serious. No damage to the suit or bone structure. Just <clears throat> this headache. Kind of alarming though. You just wake up in the middle of nowhere on some random planet. But I'm okay. I seem physically okay. receive a word for a moment, but now there's only silence. Someone was trying to reach out though, so that's a good sign. If we can find them. No beacon. Damn it, I've lost my beacon. Where is it? I have two solid hectobars in the tank. That's enough for several hours. Damn. Like I thought, nothing. I'm on my own. The beacon can't be detected either. It's my little radar thingy. It's not working though. There aren't many supplies, which would suggest a quick recce. Or was that just the end of the mission? You don't even remember how we got here. What was the last thing you remember? There was a mission? No, you don't remember anything. That's the problem. Oh, let's see if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Right. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. Constellation Liar, Planet Regis 3. We wrote it down though, so at some point we knew, but at, and then we lost our memories. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Am I on my way there? Both 
both groups landed in the same place. We took two landers to the surface. They don't usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. Hopper and the beetle. Does that mean a lot of people came here? The first group explored the ocean with no biologist. It's weird. And the other one, just me, took a different route. Leading to... I mean, there's a lot of notation here, but I'm like, uh, okay. Dog, needle, rope, croco. Top priority, get to the camp. Right. I was heading straight to the camp. You must be somewhere near. Give me a sign. Send up a flare, the probe. Anything. Okay. I'm gonna head to the camp, but I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> you didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like... I need to stop doing this. Mm, so we need to try to figure out what these landmarks are. <laughs> what am I even looking at? I'm looking for something that resembles a dog. That's so vague! <laughs> a dog? Maybe this one? A specific structure. It looks like it's got teeth. Not resemble any canine. What? It looks plenty like a dog. It looks like a dog with an open mouth, doesn't it? What about this one? You like that one? Rope. That rope. I, I think it's mine. I'll try to retrieve it later. It might come in handy. Okay. We've got this big uh binocular but one. <laughs> I'm checking another object. Which also doesn't match. Oh, focus. There's gotta be more around here somewhere, right? That kind of looks like a dog. Whoa, there's like another planet in the back, too? Two planets? Bingo! I found the dog! We have the first one. I need one more. Well, you found the rope. An object I called Needle. Oh, that's... That's what I thought was a dog initially. Or, no, it's this one, right? It's got a hole there. Telemeter. Right. It resembles the eye of a needle. Oh, the hole is called the eye? Huh. Learn something new every day. <laughs> I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. I'm doing some good detective work here. Uh, this area isn't marked. There's no mapping, but we'll we'll figure it out as we go. At least we figured out where we are. To begin with. Croco, needle, dog. I, I would like to head for the rope immediately, honestly. Yeah, let's just head in this general direction and see. Oh, I can see the previous pages. I can also walk while looking at this, which I feel like is pretty novel, huh? But I, I'd like to see the previous, uh, the other page now. Okay. Do I have to worry about my oxygen supplies and all that? Huh. I think I see our ship. You're not leaving without me, are you? <laughs> Better not. Oh. More dropped equipment. I must have hit the ground pretty hard. Oh, so you think you just dropped directly from up there? A metal detector. No, I think we were- we probably were with Dr. a rope. Bosky, you won't be pleased. More equipment to repair. The detector's dead. Guess I shouldn't just leave it like this. Broken or not. Yeah, I mean, we have an unlimited inventory, I guess, so we should take it. But in a real-life situation, you might not want to take it because it's more stuff to carry. More stuff to carry weighs you down. 
them in a canyon, which doesn't make it easy to navigate. Oh, I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. We don't even know who was trying to reach out to us, though. They were apparently a, a stranger. Oh, I have something on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. I hope so, too. Uh, well, the bad news is that we're on some foreign planet we don't know anything about. But the good news is I don't see any predators around. Huh. There's water on this desert planet. Is it water? Hmm. Or well, another liquid that did not allow the biosynosis to form. It won't be easy to replenish drinking supplies. Not without tests. Filtration, as we all remember. Third rule. How's it going? So far, so good. Have you checked on Yasna? Oh. I was about to. Opening the cryo chamber? Hi. Already awake. Good. My body might be awake, but my brain is still in the fridge. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear. Clearly your sense of humor was first awake. <laughs> now, try to get up. Slowly. Dr. Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. So we're in a kind of world where space travel is pretty commonplace already in the future. We were out researching in space. We were going to go back. And then somehow we ended up here. Here. Take it and remember the third rule. Yes, I know. Stay hydrated. In small sips. Oh, I'd die for sure in the wild. I don't sip. I gulp. Always the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. <sighs> Kovel, will you help me here? <sighs> sure, I'm coming. This what? is not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yasna, look for yourself. This is not the right planet. Ship was on autopilot? You shouldn't be walking yet. <sighs> Kovel, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Why does she want to stop me from looking at it? Crew. Astrogator. Debating chamber in 15 minutes. This can't be good. Guess we'll find out. But first, here, hold on to it and remember. The third rule. Stay hydrated. Okay, that's great and all, but that lady seemed a little bit fishy to me almost. Yes, we should worry about being hydrated and all, but she was stopping that guy from looking out the window, it felt like. That's alarming! We're on the wrong... We're in the wrong system. At the wrong planet. There's an object this way somewhere. Warm. Getting warmer. Oh, yes! Got you. I found it. Look for me on your trackers. We're speaking... Hoping that the stranger is listening. What about the rope we found? Do you want to take that with you or can we even find it? Okay, that goes a different way entirely. We probably want to get to camp, right? I'd love to look around, but I get the impression they probably won't let me go too far. I'll try. We really shouldn't be though because... We have to worry about okay. Moving on. staying alive, figuring out where we are. I can't sprint for too long. I got exhausted sprinting just now. Oh, I thought the rope we had was around here. Somewhere. You just got a hole. That's it. Nothing on the tracker. Alright. 
We could go this way, I suppose. It's not the most conventional way through. Past Croco? There are closer ways to the camp, probably. But we don't know the geography of this place. Maybe the furthest tunnel actually gets there faster. If this area is volcanically active, oh, wow. ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky is clear and the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. She's clearly the analytical scientist type. On some planets, such storms last for several hundred days. I hope it's not one of them. Oh, the bottom's out of sight. Best not to overthink it. Yeah. I get a little worried about... Mm, we have to focus on getting to the right place for now. <sighs> While sipping, staying hydrated. All that good stuff. Oh, wow, I have no idea if... I hope this will eventually lead back up. At the moment, there is just no telling. <sighs> Time to go. She's exhausted from trying to sprint. Oh, there's a small crack there. Wow, the Whoa! Wow! Lots of gigantic craters. Whoa! Whoa! Alright. Yeah, we had some performance issues in the demo version, too. In general, I feel like it's a little smoother, but... You get these one or two little bits of um, instability. <sighs> We really shouldn't be climbing up or down. Let's try to make it easy for ourselves here. We don't know if... Like, what the day-night cycle in this place is like. How many hours, how many days it is. You're in a remarkably good mood. Over 400 meters in a straight line. I, I see you. Can you hear me? I just need to get down from here. Good, we can see the camp already. That's never a bad sign. Oh well. If it catches me, so be it. This oh, there's a storm. Hold. I can't get down this way. I could attach a rope though. But, uh... For some reason, I don't have one with me. Because we kind of left it back there. You said you were going to pick it up later. I, I'm not sure if the later meant before now. <laughs> That's okay. We'll, uh, we'll figure out another way down. We don't have to go down that way. I think this this will be okay. Yeah? Here the ground slopes a little more gently. Which doesn't mean it's completely flat. Uh. On second thoughts, maybe not. The last thing I need now is an injury. I mean, this doesn't seem too bad. You can either do that way with the rope, or this sledge. <sighs> now I'm thinking about that rope back there. <laughs> you know what? We'll, we'll just take the chance. Wandering around here too long. Looks like I'm going down after all. Here goes. Time is of the essence, too. I felt like at the very tip there, you could have just jumped down. <sighs> oh, shit, shit. <sighs> You're good. Oh, phew. Oh, that was less than ideal. But I'm okay. Yes. The suit's fine, too. Just to make sure there's nothing we want to pick up around the area. That moon or whatever it is in the back. Oh no, we're entering the storm area. That's not good. 
I feel like we're seeing tracks in the sand. You see these lines? Maybe I should wait. No, just Oh! Oh! Can we hide behind a rock or something? I can't just stand in the open. Good. I think we blacked out for a little bit again. What? What happened? Where? I think the choices that we make are slowly contributing to things. Every time you see that little autosave icon, I was heading to. I'm much closer to my destination. Oh! I must have walked for some time. But... I don't remember it. Did... Did I black out again? Maybe there was a wormhole in the sandstorm. You know what? The important thing is that we're getting closer. Hopefully someone will... Help us out. Even if they can't help, let's have more people around. condition. Every step is a strain. Oh, I don't want to whine, but if you come here, it will be so much easier for me. <laughs> we need to figure out how to get up this slope too. That might be a problem. Yeah, I'm getting closer, but... I hope there's a hole here. This is kind of slopey. Oh, but good enough for me. Hang in here, Yasna. There were at least four of us on that dragonfly ship. Somehow I'm alone here, which doesn't even seem like the right thing to be doing in a foreign planet. So some very strange decisions have been made. In the past bit. Oh, I don't know about this. Don't go bright, sun. Don't the night in. Shh. You're really chill, aren't you? Oh, my legs are heavy. No. Feel is not inviting. Legs become too heavy. Hands become too weary. Down you go. Night is not that scary. Whew. I remember you. Regis' third satellite. R-303. Astrogator, sir. Crew? Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. Oh, great. We figured out we're in the wrong place. You are smoking! How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. Uh, wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes, and yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the words of paradise, no radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. 
If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life developed on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps were, don't you? I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. Ice? There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae. But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought-intolerant evolution occurred here. And that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analyses? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such oh. a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis 3 is not without worth. We don't know why we're here, but we're gonna explore it anyway. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? <sighs> The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. Oh? But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean, together with its crew of almost a hundred men, professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. Uh, they are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Koval. All right, but where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. <sighs> Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Koval. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop, and you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage. Feel oh, God. stupefied. But uh, don't worry, not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Arty to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you too. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, If any. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? Do you remember Krauter from the demo? Mild brain damage if you take off your helmet? Oh, okay. Girl, it's not time to reminisce. We we are right next to the camp. Let's go. She's in better spirits than I thought, though. She's like 
singing and stuff. <laughs> it's not that we don't know this place. Oh, thank goodness. Not everyone's in the field. Yeah, the navigator, the astrogator knew that we were coming. He just didn't tell us before we arrived. And now we're sort of in this race to do some research before the Invincible comes. The Invincible from another, from the Alliance. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? Oh. I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Oh, it's just an Androbot. Androbot. Unresponsive. Androbot, guide me to the nearest crew member. Androbot, guide two people. Androbot, locate human. Damn. RT, Commonwealth Industries. Ah, Dr. Gorski, have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms <laughs> without telling anyone? <laughs> Again. Oh, well. Never mind. We'll just have to figure out a way to do something about this. This, so we've seen this in the demo. Oh, uh, maybe if I, RT, default position. It was worth a try. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. It was moving fine earlier, now it just suddenly stopped. As soon as it saw me. Okay, well, we have to figure out something to do with this guy. Here's the camps. Here's somebody. Oh, Dr. Crowter. Didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor. Is everything all right? Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Doctor, please. Look at me. I report that I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm gonna examine him now. Hello, anyone there? I repeat, Crowter is in a serious condition. Mm. Temperature normal. Pulse too. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. But he's like not speaking English and... I don't even know. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Biologist training coming in handy. Oh, excuse me. Yasna, can you hear me? Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. Two My hours. The receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. You didn't have it easy. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. I'll just take it. Testing, one, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear. Do I understand correctly that the Doctor's life is not in imminent danger? That's my initial diagnosis, yes. Yet no response to verbal communication? None. Conclusions, Doctor? <laughs> Akinesia, mutism, impoverishment of mimic movements and reaction to stimuli. These are all symptoms of stupor, but it's difficult to pinpoint the cause of the disorder. We need to quickly perform a complete set of tests and focal plate tomography of his brain. Otherwise, I won't be able to say anything more. I'll prepare the infirmary, but first things first, Lambda. 
We need to get you all on board. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate a place for the landing. You should land right here. We have an emergency, basically. Save this one guy first. Hello? A anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowther. There's a sleeping bag here. That just might be Dr. Krauta's, though. It's not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Krauta kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Initial analysis of the samples revealed nickel, iron, manganese, beryllium, and titanium in the composition. I would give a lot to understand what it actually is. Quick theory. A giant nickel-iron meteor splashed into the atmosphere of Regis III, melting its surface millions of years ago. No, wait, scratch that. The shape of structures contradicts it. He's doing some research already. Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. We followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowther had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. No, Vic, do you want to explain why I'm here when you told me to stay on board? You want to explain anything? The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Structures? Structures from the book. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. I found one earlier. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broken. Was mine broken? Okay, checked. I'm leaving the tent. gotta be up to me because I'm apparently the only one that's contacting the astrogator and actually responsive. Everyone else just left him in here? Alright, now for the robot. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely and secure Crowther. I have everything I need, just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Huh. Yasna? What are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. What about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. We already know this one person here is not okay, so we should focus on that. Other people, we hope they're still okay. There's a transmitter. Did they teach me the key to open the... that thing with? That metal thing? Hold up. I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart the Androbot. A relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. <sighs> no luck. Oh, they're not in here. Oh, I think they were... They were in this one, from the demo. I have the extra relay. Excellent. The signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. Okay. You want me to just... set it up. Over there. Multiple spots? Hold up, hold up.
It's kind of like retro futuristic tech. Very good. I'm connected. What happened here? Is it going to work? We'll see. I rebooted the systems. That should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Ugh. I don't know if the Andrew bot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes. Unfortunately. Hmm. Give it a good whack. The positronic brain has correct readings. Receptors. Hmm. Hello. <gasps> it worked. He moved. Finally. Artie should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. <laughs> well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Uh, please check his legs. Hmm. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Got you, you tin bastard. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go find the others while I finish here. Okay. That's an order. Yes, sir. Sounds good. Anything useful in here? Doesn't seem like it. I'll keep it all open. So you got a, a very important job. Are, are you actually moving? It doesn't seem that way. Yee. Hold up, hold up. You want to go... You want to go... Flip? Hmm, this is the overall thing. We can skip to the right page if we want to. So we wrote down some coordinates earlier. Um, we're just flipping pages right now though. I think we just gotta start walking. I'm gonna try to figure it out. Okay. I would like to- yes. Did he- Focus. What now? Yeah, I want to- the metal detector thingy. What was the key for it? Can you teach me again? I don't know if you actually taught me to begin with. R. Here we go. Right, so this- this actually gives us some good information on the area around here. That's good. Okay, we'll- we'll just start going now then. With what equipped? That's Ati, right? I'll go this way. Yes, I'm going to where Gorski is. You can see at the bottom here, I'm heading up. Sure. That's just some equipment we have set up. Finally, it works. Five meters. Careful. Novak is still working on helping Krauta, I see. Yeah. So it's, uh, this is the landing spot. We can check out the landing spot. I guess. <sighs> I found the area marked by Dr. Krauta. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground. A large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes. It's relatively clean. You can send hopper, sir. You want to send it right now, then? You don't have to wait. Huh. It looks like the rocks at the landing area. The, the ones drawn by Krauter. But the doctor marked a waypoint. I don't recall... It's, it's just a sketch. No markings. Well, if so, we should do it. What would you call them? <sighs> These rocks are white as bones. Bones, then. Writing that down. Me too. Oh, there's multiple, but... thing, Astrogator. Oh. The bones are... Well, literally almost white. Unlike the environment around them. Yes, thank you. That's valuable information. Be useful in navigating. 
unlike everything else around them, are a little bit special. I think there's multiple of them. Right, from my angle, I couldn't see that there were two, so I was like, what? Twins? If we keep going this way, this'll be where Gorski is, supposedly. Oh, damn! I seem to have gone too far. I can see the field markings that Dr. Gorski left behind, and haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area as well, but before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here, let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Hmm, right. You haven't even looked at anything yet. Anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. I'm going back. How do you focus? Oh, that's the flag. Uh, it's not really focusing properly on the right thing. But yeah, there isn't anything that we can see here. Mm-hmm. And we can't go down because of that. Because we want to look around properly first. Which means we should go to the... Oh, this is... this is nothing. Right? This should be nothing. It's just a little... You can't get up here. There is an excavation site. Area. Mm -hmm. If we go back this way... It's slow work. So, Novik, I feel like we need to... Uh, we're already in working mode, but can you tell me a little bit more about what the hell... Because I lost my memories. I don't know how many days we've been here. What's been going on. I should move. Oh, there's no time. We're just getting down to it, but you need to give me basic information on everything, too. That's important. I need to know what's happening here. There's geysers here. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up, or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That, I don't know, unfortunately. Metal structure usually seems very... artificial. Which is my concern. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in... Oh. I feel like that might have happened in the demo. someone. Oh. She was gonna talk about it, but there was someone on the tracker. That's why I was standing there not moving, because I remember this happening before, the dialogue getting cut off. But yeah, I think it's that we were going to talk about that, and then we huh. spotted someone on the tracker. There's something on the ground. Let's, let's go check it out. It's Someone's true. journal. I'm sorry. We must focus on both water chemistry testing and geological drilling. Critical cross section measurements. These are Merritt's notes. Oh, she must be somewhere close. Research the entire area thoroughly. Possibility of life deep in the ocean. Layers of sedimentary clay interspersed with blackish red substance. Not geological. Not planetary. Millions of years old, at least. Oops, that's the page marker. Oh, and then they found the structure. Hmm. Cosmosolidary Alliance, Interplanetary Commonwealth Headquarters, Space Division, Solar System. Dear Dr. Merritt, this is in response to the latest interplanetary conference. We would like to offer you a promotion in the future expedition Obelisk 3 as an astrogator. Your skills and overall performance in previous missions prove to us your readiness to take the next step in the space journey in the space journey. We would be delighted to receive your response as soon as you are back from your current mission. The Alliance wants a poacher. Everything is in capital as there's no spacing. <laughs> uh, that's interesting information, but not relevant right now. We need to find 
the relevant things. The geyser is interesting, but... I oh, I can't... Okay. Oh! I was hoping to be able to get around. We might have to go this way instead. Whenever I run too much, I get so out of breath. Merit? I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just... takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. Thank We're you. We're in this together. The signal's coming from a castle of backpack. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. Mmm. Mmm. She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Merit. Merit. Merit, wake up. Wake up. Do you hear me? Doctor Merit. No. No vital Wait functions. Here. Oh no. I need to. One. Two. Three. Come on. One. Two. Nothing. Don't do this to me, Merit. Don't. Please. Live, damn it. Merit. From what? Lack of oxygen? Find the others. Please give me a minute. Of course. Oh. Everything will be fine. All fine. We were lucky. Not everyone else's. Covers next. Yes, I think so. You should be close. Right, so the demo ended right when I- when we found her last time. We didn't know that she had died, but now we do. That's it. How many members do we have in total? There were like, four people around. The- the meeting earlier, aside from... The Astrogator, I think? Four? Three? Should we check out that metal thing a little bit more? I- I don't know if we care about that anymore at this point. We can't do anything about the backpack. Oh. Yeah. I mean, the structures around are. There's some interesting structures around here, but definitely not the time to be exploring in light of how our crew members are dead. Do you Can we make any arrangements? Covel. Let's not assume the worst. You'll find it, Doctor, alive. I'm sure about that. Someone's here. We decided to just leave her. Can we do something for her? Someone else is here. It's another. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh no. no. Yasna, status. Yasna! He's. He's... He ripped his notes. He's also... Koval? Don't do this to me. Not... Oh, God. You're alive. Did you hear that, sir? Koval's alive. I didn't doubt it for a second, Doctor. What's his current state? Checking. He's not talking, though. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Just like Rauta? Kovel? Kovel? His eyes are so empty. 
Just like Krauters. Kovel, what the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Krauters? <sighs> He's calm. Calmer. He's not uh, making noises. At least he's alive. Now listen to me, Asna. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Kovel on board, I want you to do something. Yasna. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. He tore it up. It's everywhere. In pieces. Nah, not good. Kovel was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. We haven't found Gorsi yet. The only missing one? I'll go over them. But it may take a while. You want to piece it all back together? Huh. Have you found it? No, it's uh, nothing about Dr. Gorski. There's life on this planet after all. Do you see that? Them. So the structures branch underground. Underground. G checks the right branch. Number two, massive vertical exhibit. It protrudes above the surface. Three, water tank. Underground structures. Four, the biggest one yet. Inside hill, 115 meters flagged. Number five, visible from point four. Azimuth, 350, distance 200. Surprisingly accurate. He wrote down Gorski's every step. Great. Let's get Kovel to the evacuation area. Can you carry him, Doctor? <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in 1G. But the gravity here should make things a tad easier. So we wrote that stuff down in our own journal, too. Good idea. Oh, we wow. Got him. Is that the lander or something else? The Andromeda Crowder is also on its way to the site. You'll meet shortly. The land is already descending. Damn. I have a bad feeling. It won't break into pieces, right? The descent is proceeding smoothly. Don't worry. So should we all just get the hell out of here then? I know Dr. Gorski hasn't been found yet. You're gonna make me wanna... You're gonna make me go find him, aren't you? You and tell me! Unprecedented degradation of equipment, recurring connectivity issues. It all has to be related somehow. On the other hand, how could it be? There's not much on this planet. Primitive life forms in the ocean, metal deposits in the ground. Although the latter got Dr. Gorski's interest for some reason. You tell me, you're the one up in the dragonfly the whole time. Okay, his notes did say that some there is life here, but it doesn't have to be a person. It's crazy how everything's falling apart here. I don't know. Maybe we're dealing with some kind of anomaly. An atmospheric or magnetic phenomenon. Uh, wouldn't something like that show on the charts? All those measurements Gorski took? I remember. Maybe he made a mistake. Who knows? Well, things are kind of disastrous right now, but... Okay, at, at least we got two people in the lander. It could be worse. Thank you, Androbot. I think I should go back as well. They're not gonna let me, though. you up there. Only Gorski's left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. Merit's dead already, but it would be nice if we could get her. But it could be wasting time. If... Dr. Gorski is in danger. I gotta go back. I'll go back for Marit's body first. Take her to the lander. But Yasna, Dr. Marit is already gone. 
What if we also lose Gorski? I've made up my mind, Astrogator. I can't leave her like this. Oh. Novik will remember that. This definitely feels like an illogical decision, though. It's, uh, it's absolutely an emotionally based one. But uh, I'm just have, I just have to hope that Dr. Gorski is doing better than everyone else here. Why is everyone going off on their own? That's not a good thing to do to begin with, ever. Go in pairs, something. What's even happening though? There's no visible injuries on anybody. It's not readily obvious. But earlier when we took off her helmet, I don't know, oxygen? Yeah. Come in. How are you supplies? Feeling? How do you think, sir? So? I'm managing. Somehow. Forgive me, but I need to know if you're ready to continue your mission. Ready? Well, I don't think we have much choice in the matter. There's only one way forward. I think I have to go around. Am I allowed to go down here? Maybe a little bit hard carrying the body. I feel like we should take the backpack too. There might be some stuff. I have served with Dr. Merritt for over two decades. She was made of sterner stuff. The sternest. Many of us relied on her. I did. That's a higher rank than what we are. That's Novik's rank. Did you know that headquarters offered her a promotion? She would have been the first female astrogator in the history of the Commonwealth. I had no idea. Doesn't matter anymore, really. Not entirely. Marit will be awarded posthumously. I'm taking up at your word, astrogator. This could pave the way for others. And that's what she would have cared about the most. No doubt about it. We didn't get to know her too well. Except for... She was telling us to remember the third rule. And she was a smoker. On the spaceship. Didn't seem like too good of an idea though, because... In a spaceship... In space... Oxygen seems quite precious. Why don't we get Astrobot to do this? That's really silly, actually. We should have gone Astrobot to get her, and then we could go find Dr. Gorski or something. This guy can't just be standing around here doing nothing. Oh. Oh, well, her brows are. Covered in snow. Status? Nothing's changed. Please take good care of her. Of course. Dr. Gorsk is next. Let's hope he got out of danger in time. It would be good to know what kind of danger we're talking about. Yeah. But we don't. And I never got that rope from earlier, which I, I feel like I am massively regretting right about now. <laughs> but we'll just have to make do. 